Hi everyone. First off, I'd like to introduce you to the team. We've got Tim, Ben, Jing, Shabazz, and myself, Oliver. Let's meet Ben. Ben is a current Canberra uni student. Like any good uni student, she can't get through the day without her 2 p.m. nap. Now she's been diligently working on her career and she'd love to get in contact. She'd love to get in contact with professionals in industries that she wants to pursue, but currently can't. Now meet Lisa. Lisa is a professional working for Telstra. She also loves a good nap, but this time on the weekends. She'd love to see more women in IT roles and get her advocacy recognised professionally. At the moment, she has to manually search and deliver on these opportunities. Finally meet Telstra, a large corporate entity, and they get really frustrated in having to reskill graduates every time they come into their employ. They want to seek out new, skilled emerging talent and are looking to automate current existing processes. They love a way to upskill uni students before they've even applied for these roles. Now Telstra is very right to be worried about the skills gap in Australia. The skills gap, a result of un or poorly filled vacancies, costing the Australian economy $6.7 billion a year. The way that we see it, that's 6.7 billion reasons to innovate now. So what if we could solve all that? Well, we can, with OK Ready. Our online mentor matching platform connects mentors and mentees based on shared interests, goals, and social causes. However, a connection will only occur if they both want to connect mutually. We also are proud to say that we've got private, in private instant messaging and calendar integration making coffee catch-ups and workplace tours and, other, and Skype sessions easy to organise and maintain. So, Beth and Lisa, they get on our platform and surprise, surprise, they've matched. What happens now? So, they exchange details, they can share industry ins insights and they can you know, ask a couple questions and then they can go their separate ways. Or, Lisa, or, or Beth may suggest a quarterly coffee catch-up and Lisa, if she thinks there's a good culture fit, may invite her to join one of Telstra's student programs. All the while, all the while, their parent organisations are able to access our data analytics platform at $20 per user per month. We are able to automate, we're able to automate current manual solutions and provide companies with the tools to upscale rapidly and quickly new initiatives. This is our team, and our team will succeed because we have decades of experience behind us, as well as a beautiful balance between technical know-how and business acumen. But above all else, we're already connected in the Canberra community and wider community, and this is our competitive advantage. By being able to capitalise on national, well-established connections, we'll be able to grow locally and scale nationally incredibly rapidly. Through the IH competition, we've already grown our team through student ambassador positions. We've already launched our private better, and we've already signed on four financial partners. Our vision is to have a million mentoring minutes on our platform by 2020, and we need your help to get there through increasing our scalability and our capacity. Your seed, your seed funding will help us bring on more student ambassadors. It will help us uh, run more social media campaigns. It will help us uh, in our IP, in, in, through, through IP protection and through app and business development. We've, we've, we have tiered our ask at, based on our mentorship capability, starting at 400 at the low end and 1,000 at the high end. The more money that you invest in us, the greater benefits that the wider Canberra community can enjoy. And this, I this IACTC funding will be used to get us into a position of sustainable growth by getting more, more financial partners. So thank you. We're OK ready. Connect, grow, lead.
fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for your pitch. Well done. Um, my question is, do you only connect Lisa and, uh, and Beth, or do you provide some support, uh, how to get value from mentoring, how to, how to mentor, do, do you provide those things? I'll let Tim take this one. <laughs> Sorry, Tim, um, uh, thank you, Peter. Uh, so, uh, initially, as part of our closed beta, we're looking at uh, OK Reading, the very start of the engagement process, so looking at flash mentoring for an initial connection via uh, our recommendation engine. And then that can feed into more formal programs that are set up within an organization, within a community group, um, and, and other uh, institutions. Thanks, Tim. I really like this one. Um, the thing I like about um, this organization is that Tim um, demonstrates what you need, need to be to be an entrepreneur, and that's just dogged persistence. So, congratulations for that. Tim, can you tell us about how, so the model is students um, um, connecting with potential future employers. What about organisations and how organisations can use the platform internally for newcomers to be mentored by seniors within an organisation? Yeah, thank you, Glenn. Um, uh, so uh, uh, initially uh, what we've developed on the flash mentoring side is for that uh, e external engagement from organizations back into the student community and that's been one of the things that we've tested as part of the pilot program that our large corporate partners are particularly interested in and government partners um, as part of that give back uh, and tracking from their uh, upskilling their junior staff um, in leadership development. Um, as we go through the um, closed beta uh, program, um, we're working with our current uh, trial partners at the moment on where some of those pain points are for their existing programs. Often they're, um, uh, they're conducted manually on an Excel spreadsheet or it takes a lot of um, uh, FTE um, to maintain that. So our um, partners then get access to our back-end data and analytics platform for those forward metrics. But our next stage is in our digital roadmap uh, as part of that um, automation of those programs so that they can help scale them both locally in, in Canberra, but then also with our bigger partners so they can see where the impact is in the Canberra region, what's going really well, and then look at implementing that in other regions like Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney, etc. This is probably a bit of a follow-on from that. So I'm a local business, I'm a small player, but I am an employer. And what, how does this work for me? So what are you trying to do? You're trying to create an opportunity for someone to be mentored or someone to understand a pathway into employment or for me to be able to find a potential someone to recruit. How does that actually work for me? Uh, so all of the above, essentially. Um, but starting if for the, uh, the SME and startup market, um, they're able to jump on the platform as mentors for free. Um, uh, there's no paywall there. They can connect in with the student community to identify emerging talent that um, meets with their business uh, areas of need. So that might be around health or STEM education, different areas. So there's some pipeline development there. Um, we also have an activities channel on the platform that larger partners um, uh, get access to as part of their trial program. Um, and then for smaller partners, we're looking at um, uh, a once-off fee um, around a particular recruitment and different models so that they can actually be recommended to people that match. So that might be uh, you're looking for uh, uh, a young woman um, like Beth uh, interested in cybersecurity in her third year at a local university so that you know she'll be graduating shortly. Um, and all those opportunities will be there for the SME and startup market as well. You guys have put together a really impressive group of trial partners to work with you on this, and it's quite an advanced project in that sense that so you're really working this. Are they going to stick with you into the next stage? If obviously, they, are they getting value? How is that relationship going? Because having their support as well as grant funding will be helpful for success. Uh, absolutely. So, um, as Oliver pointed out, um, we're not looking at the traction from, from IACT funding um, to sustain us in the long term. Um, our goal is to achieve the sustainable business model through ongoing partnership engagement. Um, we've been working with um, pilot and trial partners for around 12 months now, um, and I've been working full-time on this, uh, bootstrapping. 
uh, and then uh, luckily enough to go through the Innovation ACT team and meet some fantastic student ambassadors as part of that. But the key piece is we will able to bring on extra partners um, through increased capability um, that we'll have for having more people on the team. Um, uh, yeah.